This is Colin McGuigan for AFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Lewis Crocker in Belfast. Lewis, this is, uh, without doubt, the biggest fight of your career. Massive show, massive stage. Chance for you to maybe get the sign by Eddie Hearn. This is the real big time, right? Oh, big time. This is everything you, you train and you, you fight for. Like, um, I've got the opportunity now. Couldn't ask for a better night against a better opponent as well from the same city in the SSC and with the zone Eddie Hearn there, so I'm well pleased. It's actually a surprise to me that you haven't been signed by a promoter yet. You know, Billy has kind of touched on the fact that no one's taken a real chance on you yet from a promoter perspective, but he believes no one needs to take a chance because he believes you're going right to the top. He actually told me you're the hardest hitting welterweight in the world, in his opinion. When you hear when you hear things like that come from your coach, does that fill you with confidence going into a bout like this? Oh, definitely. Um, Billy see, sees how hard I train and how well I perform in the gym, so you know it's, it's good to have his confidence behind me. In terms of what you need to do on Saturday night, I spoke to Tyrone, I interviewed him. Tyrone was said that basically you reacting how you did yesterday was so out of character that he believes it's nerves getting to you. What would you say in response to that? I mean, if you watch that video, he's the one nervous, do you know what I mean? He just didn't expect it from me. Um, I'm just confident now, so yeah, I'm, uh, I feel fit. I've just never had an opponent as well, you know, like he's talked shit about me as well, so... I was always respectful to the opponent, but when someone's going to come at me, you know, I'm going to come at them back. What, what was it that he said to you? What was it when he, you said a disrespect or he talked shit about you? What, what was it that Tyrone said? No, he was... Like, I haven't watched any of his interviews, but uh, you, know, you get clips of it. So, it's just... There was many, you know, he's gone up my body saying, and he said something slapped me in the street or something, and I was like, yeah, as if. Like, with Tyrone, he also said to me on the interview today that he believes you've never been in the deep waters before. He said he believes your chin's never been checked by any of your opponents. He said he has had his chin checked by Progray, where he got stopped due to a cut, and he had his uh, his chin checked when he was down three times against Catterall, but he said he kept on coming. He was down three times? Yeah. I'm not too sure. Maybe uh, twice. Well, that's confidence for me. I didn't even realise he was down three times. We were down four on Saturday. <laughs> In terms of what you take from watching Tyrone, we all know he's a durable guy with a great chin. What do you need to do on Saturday night to beat Tyrone McKenna? I feel like before I've seen Tyrone at his best. Do you know what I mean? He's been out since last August as well. Let's be honest, pure performance against Jenkins, who's, no, no disrespect to Jenkins, but he's passed it. Um, stopped beforehand, got stopped after as well. And arguably should have beat Tyrone, do you know what I mean? And saying that like he should have got or he got stopped with a cut. That fight was going to get stopped regardless. He was taking a tanking. Do you know what I mean? So everything he's saying is just for his confidence. It's nothing to do with me. He's saying my chin hasn't been tested and stuff. We'll see on Saturday. Give me an opinion of how you see this fight going, Lewis. How do you feel that you break down Tyrone McKenna on Saturday? A victory. You know what I mean? I don't want to get into it too much. Um, don't want to think about it too much. All I have to do is go out there and perform and I don't get the win. I asked Billy what, what would be next for you if you beat Tyrone. He said that it's up to Lewis what he wants to do next. If you do beat Tyrone McKenna on Saturday night, not looking past him, what do you want next? What's the names you want next? Billy talked about Connor Ben. Yeah, I'm not even thinking about anything in the past Saturday here. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully I get signed by a big promoter and, and then they'll let, I'll let them do all the work. So we have a big fan base coming out on Saturday, Lewis? Yeah, for sure. Um, loads of friends, family. Um, Loads yeah. of people all know as well, just, just coming. Is that an extra incentive for you to perform well in front of all of your friends and family who are going to be present? Definitely, mate. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm excited, not nervous, I'm excited. I've visualised this for like, the past 10 weeks, so to go out there and to hear the noise and I mean, I'm getting goosebumps talking about it, I'm looking forward to it. Well, Lewis, always a pleasure on AFL TV. Look forward to speaking to you after Saturday night and good luck, mate. Thanks very much.